Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IV, the After, After Years Lunarian Story Part 3. And today we're going to meet, oh look who it is. The Mysterious Girl. So she's asking about the four crystals that were in the Crystal Palace that turned blood red. And we're in... They asked who she was, she never replied, and she said it well, really doesn't matter, so... Like, I don't know why she wants to fight you, she's just kind of like, yeah, you're dead. And like always, she gets to summon something, but this summon's actually a rather annoying summon. If you play Final Fantasy IV, then you probably already know why this one's a bet really bad, because this one can uh, heal her, yeah, like that. So you have two methods of attack in this, in this uh, battle. Just cast Reflect on her, and let the creature heal you, and then cast Reflect on yourselves, so you can shoot black magic back, back at her. Or you can just do what I did, and just go ape shit with your spells, and just hit her with everything you've got. Now, I'm, one thing good thing about Fusaya is that he has the spell Flare. Don't use Meteor. I just use, you know, like I did, like an idiot. I used Meteor. I don't really know why I did. I just did. But use Flare, because Flare is actually really, he can actually cast Flare really fast. Hang on one second. Damn, that sucked. Anyway, so you have white magic and you he's going to be your main source of healing. And food, and whenever he gets low on MP, have Gobez either dry either or an either on him. And make sure you keep hitting her. Because if, because if you, let, if you go too long without hitting her, obviously she gets too much HP back and you're just back where you started. And Golbez's spells probably won't do him, uh, do enough to actually take off all her all the MP, HP that she healed. You might want to cast Spio on her. Because it actually does poison her, but I don't know if it... Like, she just starts glowing green, and she, she never really loses any HP, it's just kind of, yeah, she's glowing green. So I don't know if it actually works or not. Something else you might want to go ahead and use is the spell, is a, uh, is use the items like Arctic Wind and Bomb Crack and stuff, you probably got from coming down here, but I really want to even bother doing that. Because it's usually those, those things only cast, like, Blizzard and Fire, so don't, don't bother. Unless you're really hurting for HP for MP. And of course her spells are really strong. But you really don't have to worry unless she actually singles you out. Because if it's a group attack, it's going to do between 300 and 400. Around that area, so you really don't have to worry too much about her group spells. And yeah, Flare is going to be really good. And I just do it at... Oh yeah, that's something else she has. All her attacks, except for that, are spell, are spell based. That is her, she can bind to you, and, oh yeah, another part of the ta the reflect tactic I was talking about earlier, if you, if you have reflect on you, she can't hurt you, unless she uses binding glare on you, I was looking for a remedy, I was like, I need to heal him, but I didn't have one, is that her spells get bounced back, but I don't remember if Final Fantasy IV reflect was permanent or not, but in this one it isn't, it's not permanent. So you, so you have to keep recasting it, and I just never found that worth my time, because every time you cast, you have to cast it three times, once on her, once on Golbez, and once on yourself. And plus, if you cast a spell at the wrong time and floods wears off, you just end up hitting your, you just end up hitting Golbez, or Fusaya, who you're bouncing the spell off of. This battle is also kind of lucky, like you need to be lucky in this battle. Like, I'm, I got extremely lucky there. Ashura, uh, Ashura, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing her name right. Ashura, she can hit you, but she's going to spend most of her time healing and casting shell. And when she hits you, it's not really that bad, so you don't have to worry too much about her, about her physical attacks. One thing that the mysterious girl will do is that she'll cast Amosis on Ashura, and she'll just gain back some HP. But don't bother casting. Uh, Amosis on Ashura yourself. I don't know why, but you, it doesn't really work. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be able to hit Ashura in any any way. So they just say Amosis doesn't work either. Don't even bother. I think in the PSP version you can, though. 
then they fixed in the PSP version. So if you're playing the PSP version, I think you are able to unbox this Ashura. But in this been the Wii Wear version, you aren't. Yeah, so one thing you might be noticing by now that you might have thought when you first saw it is, yeah, you actually have to win this battle. And it's tough. I know the first time I ever about took the, took out this girl, it took me like 20 tries because she was so tough. Actually, I died to her twice beforehand before this. So what you're seeing is my is my third attempt. Like for me, it worked. So just keep casting your flare, flare on her. Don't don't cast me like I did. It's not worth it. So just just hit with flare, and she will go down eventually. So now you might be thinking, well, what does she want with the crystals? And you never on Earth, she was asking about the crystals. You know, she was, like, stealing all the other crystals. And she brainwashed Cecil into taking the crystals from everyone. So you, now, now you've got to question yourself, is like, so when does this take place? This takes place before all the other stories. Like, this is the very beginning. Because if you remember the end of Radius story, the man in black, a.k.a. Golbez, saved them from Titan. I know it was... We did that back in like February, but you just gotta, you just gotta trust me on this one. If you don't, if you don't remember, just go back and watch part like six of Rydia Story, which was done back in in February or March, and you'll see it. Yeah, this battle's almost over. She's. I think Golba. I think Golba's Danaga does it. Because the whole video isn't just the battle, it's, there's more to it. Yeah, I was right. I think she has like 4,000 HP. Oh, 40,000, sorry. Yeah, so they just straight away. He got scared of Golbez hit, of Fusaya hitting him, so, he, so she decided to just get out of here. Huh, well, that's... That's strange, she's, uh, dead. But yet, we've seen her countless other times. I'm sure she is, she really is dead, I mean, there's no way she can really, you know, come back. Epic foreshadowing. So we're just gonna go back and heal. So yeah, so, basically what happened was that, since she could summon Ashura, that could mean that she also has Bahamut under her control, and if you remember, she does, because that's what she did with, against Cecil. Yeah, so we gotta crawl out of this meteor. And it's actually a pretty long run. The, the uh, enemies in this crater aren't really that bad. It's just the whole battle every two seconds. And of course, you need to cast spells on them, because Golbez's, Golbez's Mithril Sword isn't really going to do a whole lot. But I would say I quit the Mithril Sword. Get rid of the blood sword at this point. The only reason you would want it during the girl ba during the uh, girl battle against the mysterious girl is to maybe get some HP back. Like I, you saw me, like the first move I did with Golbez was I, was I hit with the sword. But even then, it's not really a whole lot. You might just want to go with the Mizzou sword straight out. This is kind of a spoiler, but you you don't get another weapon for Fusaya. That's that. Rod, that protects Daph is all he ever gets. I think, I think in Final Fantasy IV, you never really got a weapon for him either. I mean, you could buy something like give him a bow and arrow, but... Oh, no, I, I'm mistaken. I think you do get something for Fusaya later on. Yeah, so make sure you... It's kind of nice when you get either, because you're going to need a lot of those. Because Gobez is okay with physical attacks, but Fusaya is just pitiful, because he's a mage, so you know. It's weird, like, all of, every Lunarian, except for Fusaya, is actually pretty good in physical attacks. Cecil, Theodore, Gobez. Given Cecil and Gobez are brothers, but still. And you can kind of see the family resemblance. I mean, Cecil has white hair, Gobez has white, well, it's gray, I guess. Gray whitish hair. Yeah, so then they put this little part in there. Just there you go. So I guess next time, in part four, we'll be going to Bahamut's cave. See y'all then.